Blake Elliott, 105.3 The Fan. Jason, what do you think has changed just about your mentality, not just the X's and O's of why you're on the precipice of one game away from winning the NBA Finals? Uh, I think from our experiences over the past couple of years, um, the thing that we've really um, have gotten a lot better at is not relaxing, not being complacent. Uh, you know, from game to game or series to series, uh, we always like want more. Maybe in, in recent years, we were uh, took things for granted at, at some points, um, or uh, we're, we're happy to make make it to certain rounds where uh, you know we're not we're not satisfied that uh, even even now up 3-0, right? Nobody is celebrating or anything. Uh, we still feel like it's a lot more that we can do. Um, it's a lot more that we want to do. So uh, from that standpoint, just you know, uh, not being complacent and, and everybody just wanting more um, and, and being true to, true to that. Bobby in the front right. Bobby Manning, CLNS Media. Jason, what, what do you remember about that first summer league you played with Jalen when you became his teammate for the first time and what it was like getting to know his game and just playing together for that first time and how that's grown since then? Since summer league? Oh, shit. Uh, I, I was excited, finally put on the NBA jersey. Um, I was just, I, mean, I, was, I was young, I was 19. I was, I was overwhelmed. Uh, everything was, was new to me from being at the new practice facility. Uh, I remember going through summer league practice where JB was on the team, obviously. Um, and, learning from him and learning from the assistant coaches. Uh, Jerome Allen was there. Michael Shrewsbury was one of the coaches. Uh, I mean, it was, it was a hell of an experience in Utah and in Vegas. Uh, I was just so happy to be in the NBA uh, at the time that you know, I was really a kid. So, I mean, it was a great experience. And obviously, we've grown a lot since then. Uh, but I was, I was just so happy to be there and put on that jersey uh, for the first time. Fifth row over here on the left. Jason, Drew talked the other day about looking up at the banners and, and thinking he'd like to be part of one. You, you've been around it a while. You've, you've been kind of absorbed into what it means to be a Celtic. What would that mean to you now? And, and, and how much is that something that you've, you've thought of? And, and, and how much has that <coughs> evolved over, the, over your career? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, ever since I've been in the NBA, um, especially with the Celtics, everybody knows we only hang up championship banners, and um, it's been a while since we've won one. And ever since 08, uh, the goal is to, to, to win another one every single year. Um, you know, gotten close plenty, plenty of times. Uh, and it's just an honor. It's an honor to wear this, this jersey. Um, it's an honor to follow the footsteps of the some of the best players ever, uh, and, and being a part of Celtics history um, entails that you know you got to win a championship. Um, every kid growing up playing basketball dreams about being in the finals, dreams about winning the championship. Uh, so I'm no different than any anybody else. Tim, standing on the left. Jason, Jalen was in here earlier talking about how he was embarrassed about the way last year ended for himself personally. That was a motivation for him over the summer coming into the season. And you've obviously talked about spraining your ankle, not being able to be at 100% in that game, the way that series ended. How much is sort of not just that year, but the past several years sort of allowed you guys to really focus in like you were talking about on staying locked in on the moment and not mm. letting this opportunity slip away this year? Uh, I credited last year a lot to um, the success that we're having this season. Uh, we were so we were so consumed with getting back to the finals um, in a in a good way, but I think you know, when we, especially when we got to the playoffs, we were we were just ready to get back to June, um, and, and, and in some ways skipping steps. And, and those series took longer than they maybe should have. And uh, we acknowledge that, and we could have closed games out a lot earlier. Um, and, you know, you find yourself in a hole down 0-3. The margin for error is so small. 
Um, and last year, we really believed that we could take it one game at a time and, and come back from that series. Uh, but, you know, last year was a great learning experience. So, for one, not take things for granted. Um, it's never, uh, you're, you're never uh, promised to make it back to the finals. Uh, and, you know, I think every, each and every person this year has uh, came, came into the season with a different mindset. Uh, and I think it has truly shown that we don't take things for granted. And, and we approach every single day the same, that we're trying to get better. Um, and we're as, as hungry as we've ever been. We're, we'll go Steve, Mark, and Tim in the back. Just go ahead, Steve. On the left. Uh, Jason, Steve Buckley from The Athletic. Uh, back to the banners. When, when you're a newly minted Celtic, does, does, how does that work? Does somebody take you around and show you all that and teach that to you, or are you on your own? And, and also, what was your first encounter with a Celtics legend, whether it was Larry or Coos or somebody? I, actually, yeah, somebody did walk me around the old practice facility and, and walk them and show me all the, the banners and the history. Um, and I, I was born in 98, so I didn't really know about all the, the championships before. I knew Bill Russell won a lot. I knew Bird had a couple. Um, but I only ever saw 08, and then you know when they lost in 2010. Uh, so I, I learned a lot about the the history of the game, the history of the Celtics. Uh, and I would say the first the first legend I met was Paul Pierce. I met him um, during that. I, it might have been summer league or my first training camp. Uh, he was around for a few days, so that was the first Celtics legend I really got to talk to. Mark in the middle. Hey, Jason, uh, following up on your answer to Tim of really being in the moment and not letting things slip away, what do you think has contributed to your guys' ability this season to take advantage of closeout opportunities? You're 3-0 so far, and as you mentioned, you know, in prior seasons, that necessarily wasn't necessarily one of your guys' strengths of closing out at that first opportunity. Uh, I think our ability to go over situational basketball during practice uh, Joe and the coaching staff, they do a great job of showing us um, a lot of different things throughout the season of how games end, whether it's teams being up six, do you foul, or closing out quarters and, and how that can have an effect um, you know, for the start of the next quarter. Uh, so going over situational basketball and, and, and practice and in shoot arounds and understanding what we want to do in those moments um, what we what plays and, and reads we want to go over uh, at the, you know late game situations so when those moments do come about um, throughout the game we we're comfortable we know where we're trying to run where we're trying to get to the different options from each set uh, you know just our ability to translate the things that we go over in practice uh, you know to the game and, and, and do it without skipping a beat Last one, back right, Tim. Jason, Tim Reynolds with the AP. You've mentioned Celtic history a few times today, obviously. How, obviously it'd be cool enough to hang an 18th banner. I, I get that's the bigger thing, but there's never been a Celtic team ever with a better playoff record than what you guys have to this point. You guys have a chance to be second all time. And I mean, it's like the eight, the 86 team when 82 and 18. You guys could be two games away from that. It's like the second best Celtic team ever in terms of record. How much more would that add to it when you think of all that this franchise has done? You guys could be at the top of a whole lot of lists in that record book. Uh, I didn't know that. Um, that would that would be really cool. Uh, but you know, you guys probably would say we didn't play anybody to get here, so we just have to do it again next year. <laughs>